What's up everybody, Cats007, and today, bringing you guys the number one legend gameplay, aka, me. So, starting off, you have to know where people spawn, so you get presents as quickly as possible, because characters like Ember and Lizard depend on presents to really close in games. Now, I feel people take Lizard for granted, and he has so much potential, hence why I became the first Lizard to prove to people that Lizard can be so much more. So starting off chasing this coordinator, coordinator is doing a good job, that's why I expect to get hurt. Because I don't want the spotlight only to myself, but to other people. So I jump over the pallet, you know, I jumped over, and she doubles back, she gets hit. Now what I like about Lizard is, he has the ability to cut people off with his jumps. Now you really want to outplay people right here, so here's an example of what I did. There's a hole that you can jump through. One, two. Now the core is going to go up to the second story. Now second story hospital is very strong, but I cut off that route forcing her to go through the window and I closed the distance between me and her. Now, I closed distance and avoided hospital for her to go to second story. If she would have made it to second story, she would have looped me for days. But I closed the gap between me and her and the series first put it as forced put it out. By the way, ready for this? I run excitement. <laughs> I can't even laugh. Never mind. <laughs> I can't even laugh. Anyway, um, I ban mercenary in rank and I run excitement so it forced people to play um coordinator or a rescuer and I use excitement for cord now she's on the chair cyphers pop um, mechanics and a save because she's probably running tied I'm looking around for mechanic now I was thinking hmm now would it be smart if I hit the mechanic because the coordinator has extended chair time, and I'm like, you know what, that's just a waste of time. And she's just going to waste my time around the chair. So I'm going to hit her early, and then mechanic does an awesome job, by the way. So I go splat, I hit the mechanic, and I get another splat, and I broke the pallet. Now, mechanic is using up her tide to stall for the coordinator, and she does an awesome job body blocking. And you'll see here, so I'm jumping left, right, splash, and mechanic soaks another splash hit, which is really good on her part. Um, coordinator most pallet, I juke back around, I outplayed her, and smack, and I missed! So I jump and splash, I was like, wow. So she didn't throw the pallet, go back over, try to juke me out, and I ended up splashing again. Now, I put her back on the chair. Now they're trying to cypher rush me. This is the scary part about playing lizard, because you know, you're prone to getting cypher rushed. I mean, any hunter is, technically. Um, put the mechanic in the chair. I have tinnitus, so I know for a fact someone's going after the coordinator. Uh, coordinator has extended chair time, so I'm like, you know what? I might as well just hit early, and then they're gonna have to save the mechanic again, too. And they're probably gonna use up their tide for a coordinator, so I splash early, perfume her perfumes back, and hit. I tried to time a terror shock, but it's okay. Uh, they're running, they're running. Um, mechanic rescues herself with her bot, which leads us to the code by himself. Um, I was gonna go for a splash, but then I'm like, screw it. Um, come over, turn around. It took me patience. It takes a lot of patience to time hits like that. Cause I know the coordinator is behind me. So I spun around, got the hit, and then coordinator is dead on chair. I see mechanic. Um, I know for a fact she's going to go to the pallet. So I splash into the pallet and mechanic goes down. Now it's going to be up to the seer to rescue because the is hit. Or use the bot, but I'm probably going to go after the bot. <laughs> Get rid of the bot, you know? Because like, if they pop the cypher or something, the boss going to be at the gate. So. Get rid of the bot as quick as possible. Um, like I was saying, I feel like people should take like how do you how do you put this into words? I feel like people should appreciate Lizard. You know, he has so much potential. And the way I play, I run down left, and a really old school build. Um, insolence, in, 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 insolence build. Yes, yeah, insolence, in, insolence, and uh, detention. An old school build. I know all the top lizards run a uh, trump card or up builds. I'm running an old school build. And it's been doing phenomenal. I rarely lose as Lizard. My win rate's really high. I'm Mantle Core 3, and I have a 86% win rate. And I'm doing phenomenal. I rarely lose. And I feel like people should take more consideration of what Lizard's capable of doing. And how he's being played. Um, I have... I'm going to post another video on um, the Lizard and really counter saving. But that's for the next. Um, this video is just demonstrating... Um, Shortcuts, spawns, and whatnot. All the good jazz. Uh, really fun game. This isn't ranked. Uh, put Seer on the chair. Now, I love the fact that I have Cypher Control, which basically means that the Cyphers are within my vicinity. 
like my control like my area does that make sense i'm using big words i don't know <laughs> so i'm basically saying the ciphers are basically lined up next to each other so i can basically jump jump and then i'm right on top of something so i know dungeons there perfumer's going back around looking around and she's just running away running away i'm just capping the chair because i'm like you know what i need my points baby i need to promote <laughs> promotions everything so um looking around i know dungeons there i'm like yo the perfume has to be around here somewhere at least somewhere and she's going back all the way around so i'm assuming she's gonna go save the seer and i'm like i'm gonna go back myself and go back and i think the perfumer was opening a treasure box here yeah she's back over there i'm just like you know what i'm gonna secure this kill um by the way 360ing does that make sense is that 360 is that a 180 no it's a 180 whoa uh, 180 ing with Lizard is super duper hard. Anyway, we're coming to the end of the video. Perfumer goes to the window. I try to cut her off. I really hope you enjoyed the Lizard gameplay and expect to see more, especially in my next video. I'm Catch007, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.